What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today we have Mr. For Christopher Sales calling my dad by his name, Frank. All right, so CJ is going to be calling Chris his actual name. Let's see what happens. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel. Then me little videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Chris. What? <laughs> what did you just say before that? Chris. What? That's your name. Got him. <laughs> nigga turn the shower water off. What you say, my nigga? Yeah, that's your name. So, what? <laughs> Tell him, TJ. Yeah, Chris. What did you just say? What's your name? Like, what? <laughs> what? That's your name. <laughs> That boy is getting tall, yo. I'm Chris. And I know this nigga Chris did not step out the shower and just has his wet ass feet. I know there's a rug right there, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's a pet peeve just of mine. I cannot have wet feet or semi wet feet or clammy feet. Really, I don't like my dry feet on hardwood or like tile or anything like that, okay? If it ain't carpet, I don't want my feet on it after getting out the shower. Oh my gosh, cringe. But anyway. Stop playing with me, Chris. Stop fucking playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. I ain't Clarence, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Oh, the feet is wet. Your feet sweat, fam. Oh, no, no. I think he got carpet. Oh, oh no! And CJ, you stepping on the shower rug? Oh, this is just giving me cringe all around. And see, you got CJ stepping on the shower rug. Oh my fucking god, bro! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no again! He did it again! He did it! Them shoes been in two states, bro. Oh my god. Stop calling me Chris. That's not my name. You don't call me that. That's very disrespectful. <laughs> That's your name, though. I don't care. That's disrespectful. You don't call me Chris. That's your name. I don't care, Christopher. <laughs> I don't care, Christopher. You don't call me Chris. You call me Dad, 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 Daddy. I can call you Chris. You're my son. Faja. You don't call your dad Chris. <laughs> now, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, B? What's wrong with you, B? Go get that. Get that up. That man stepping all over this fucking right, clean bro, shower rug. That's tough. I can't do it, y'all. Get that up. Put that up in the dirty clothes. No. You done lost your mom calling me Chris. Bruh. Get that up. Crickets. Cricket, cricket, crickets. Well, what you want to do today? I'm about to heat up some um, pizza, pizza and pasta, y'all. I'm hungry. Can we go to the jumping place, Chris? To the what? Jumping place? He trying to go trampoline jump every single day. You want a whooping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you must want a whooping. I don't, Chris. If y'all got any recommendations, man, uh, for anything besides Carmex, like I feel like the moment I started using Carmex or chapstick in general, guys, like my lips were just fine until I put chapstick on my lips. Or really, I think it was Carmex that really fucked me up. I just remember like being probably in high school, maybe junior high, something like that, and trying Carmex for the first time. Nothing was ever wrong with my lips until I put this shit on there. And y'all already know they have ingredients in this shit to have you just like suck, like suck the natural essential oils and nutrients in your fucking lips, you know, and to where you have to continue to purchase shit like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is not sponsored because the shit is trash. Really. But I need something. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do y'all know of anything that can kind of restore those natural oils and stuff like that? If you guys know of any other chapstick or Carmex like thing that is more natural, that can actually keep my lips moisturized. Carmex is the only thing actually. I've tried like this other shit, Blistex, that has hemp and shea, hydration. Ain't no fucking hydration in that shit, bro. My lips be 
like dry in two seconds. So if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. Thank you in advance. Thank you, thank you. We can't see y'all in the closet, Chris. We can't see y'all in the closet, Chris. Call me Chris again. Call me Chris Let me know in the comments section down below. I would like to never yell at my kid, raise my voice at my kid, or whoop my kid. But then again, it's coming from a person who ain't got no kids. So you know what I'm saying? Give me some tips, y'all, in the comments section. Okay, then don't play with me. Play with your toys. You're not the one. <laughs> play with your toys. <laughs> this nigga's dumb. <laughs> the oven is preheated for my pizza, y'all. I'm not playing with you. So I'll be eating in the next video. Come here, what is all this on you? Why you got one? Why do you have pen all over you? Kids just be doing just stupid shit. Because what? You got tattoos? My homework. You mean you were doing homework? So you writing on yourself? No. So why do you get pen up there? I don't know. Don't be writing on yourself. Your kids used to get old fashioned weapons. You don't call your daddy, Chris, okay? I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's a good thing for your kid to fear you, you know? I think there's much better ways that you can actually influence your kid to do the right thing. It's just my opinion, you know. So I've been through that and I know it just made me, you know, yeah. angry. A very you angry child. You don't call you don't call your mommy? You don't call your mom by her name. You don't call your dad by his name. That's that is not respect. You know you gotta have respect. You know? Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. I can't even hug you if I want to. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. It's a big boy, man. No. That is a big boy. CJ grew up in front of our eyes, y'all. It's crazy. Chris, where are we going? He was a little, he was a little, little, little boy. What about to sell you? That is a prey. Yeah, I know it was something. Mm. Okay, but CJ, CJ helping his dad with his channel too. He's not playing with you. That's why you look like that dude off hoes. Uh uh, not hoes. Or you look like the dude off jump in. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, you look like Robin on Team Titans. Stupid ass boy, ugly. You look like Raven. You look like Raven. You got buck teeth. What did you talk about? Lion man? Sure so. You look so. It's so little, bro. Come on, Nick. Who's supposed to be little? Like, what are you talking about? Change that fucking smoke detector, Chris. Change it. Hey, my Hmm. <laughs> 
to Chris for grinding. Shout out to CJ for helping Chris with the grind, man. Look, it's all love. I love to see CJ and Chris together, man. Y'all already know. Another lit ass prank, all right, from Mr. For Christopher Sales featuring baby CJ, who's not such a baby anymore. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Shout out to Chris. He is grinding. He is on straight grind mode, and I'm glad to see it because I want to see him be great. I want to see him live to his highest potential, man. And all it takes is putting in some work. Yeah, it might not be the easiest thing sometimes, but it always pays off. You know, the work that you put in always pays off. Trust and believe, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel. Make sure you DM me lit videos to react to. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their angel mom to tell their uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next. Mother freaking video. I love you, man. Peace. We out, baby.